Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. Good to be with you today and uh, looking forward to the, the day. Uh, we uh, did a lot of work yesterday uh, on the house and uh, I am very sore today. I was climbing around in the attic. I had to use a lot of muscles that I don't normally do uh, use, but uh, I tell you, I uh, feel very, very sore today, but we'll we'll eventually get over this. Also, a lot of work was done with VBS, uh, decorating and getting things ready for next week. Looking forward to that. Uh, theme of the VBS is power up. So I uh, want you to be praying about it. And of course, if you can, get involved. But uh, what a blessing. Well, today we're going to continue our subject of Joseph and and yesterday we talked about family. Let me read you something. The Bible says in Genesis 37, in verse number 20, the Bible says this, Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into some pit. And we will say, Some evil beast hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. The Bible also says in that same chapter in verse 27, Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him for he is our brother and our flesh and his brethren were content. You know who they're talking about? Each case, they're talking about Joseph. And you know who's talking? It's, it's his brothers. You know, sometimes things don't always go very well in families, do they? There's arguing and there's fighting and and boy, what a what a mess this is. Uh, Joseph's brothers is so angry at him because of the dreams and and uh, they they uh, they thought that uh, Joseph was just being uh, proud and and better than than they and and they got angry at it at him and and uh, and to the point that they were going to get rid of him obviously what the brothers were doing was wrong and uh but uh you know I'm so very thankful even though we don't get to pick our families and even though we don't get to necessarily uh you know control how people act toward us yet the truth of the matter is uh, how you and I handle our family is very important. Did you know that one of these days, according to the text, that what these brothers do uh, to Joseph will haunt them, and it will it will uh, truly eat at them for a long time. And uh, you know how you and I treat our families. May we do it in such a way that we don't have anything to uh, regret or that we can be proud of that we treated them the way we did. You see, families are important, but we do have trouble. Now, maybe today you may have family members that you have trouble with. You know what? And it might be such that there's just no way you're going to be able to work it out. Hey, Sometimes that happens. But you know, make sure it isn't, you're not the reason why that it cannot be worked out. You and I ought to be willing to love our families, seek for peace, and do what we can to get along. And so, be praying for your families, amen? Praying that they know the Lord, praying that uh, you and, and your siblings or maybe your parents uh, whatever the case may be, can get along and be good to each other. Because believe it or not, families are important. May the Lord bless you today. Let's go ahead and have a word of prayer. Father, bless us, keep us safe, watch over us. And Lord, thank you for family. In spite of our arguing and fighting and troubles that we have, Lord, may we truly be praying for our families. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Looking forward to this coming uh, coming Sunday. Of course, Father's Day, looking forward to preaching. May, may the Lord bless you today. We'll see you later.